Hey there everybody. Today I'm going to show you how you can get your Apple TV to sync a million times faster than just over Wi-Fi. Um, uh, my Apple TV is going to literally just be sitting on the desk here and I'm going to explain what I'm plugging in and everything I'm doing. Um, currently the Apple TV is unplugged from power and anything else. Power cable to prove it. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up iTunes and I'm going to plug it in. I will be cutting this video to save time because the boot up time of the Apple TV and for it to show up in iTunes takes a while. So I'm going to do that. So currently the Apple TV is off, iTunes is open, I'm now going to plug it in with nothing attached, just power. Alright, the Apple TV shows the yellow light, it is booting up. I'm going to cut, cut here. And I'm going to come back right now. In the meantime of uh, the, the Apple TV booting up and waiting for iTunes to recognize it and everything, we might as well get started with the step to uh, do the fast syncing. What you're going to need to do this is you're going to need an internet cable, an ethernet cable. They're usually blue and they contain the end that would go into a computer. You're going to plug one end into the back of your Mac and um, I'm taking it mentally that your Mac is currently going off wireless. You're going to plug one end into the back of the Mac, and the other end's going to go into the Apple TV, but don't do it right now. Okay, perfect. The Apple TV has been recognized. It says syncing my Apple TV. You can see how slow this is going. One, three, it's just taking a really long time to sync 2,000 items. You can literally see how slow it is going, okay? It's been about 20 seconds, and it's only done about 7. It's, it's on 5. I'm doing better time estimates. Okay, so it, it takes forever. So what we're going to do is end my mouse lags whenever it syncs over Wi-Fi. It's really strange. You can see it's lagging. I'll hit stop, and now watch. Mouse is smooth again. Really weird. Um, okay, first step. System preferences. You're going to go to sharing. You are going to go to internet sharing and check the box. What this is going to now do is share an internet connection out of your ethernet port. Make sure, if you uncheck this, make sure to check ethernet and uh, share connection from airport. Then hit yes to internet sharing. Hit start. Now it is now sharing your internet through this port. So this cable, this in now, contains internet. Okay, it is, it is feeding out internet. So now what you're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and power down my Apple TV. I still haven't found out how to do that without just unplugging it, so I'm going to unplug it. It's not syncing, so we're good. Unplug it. I'm going to quit iTunes because it doesn't tend to disappear if I don't quit iTunes. <clears throat> I'm going to reopen iTunes. And now I'm going to plug in this Ethernet cable into the Apple TV. Note that it's still unplugged from power. Okay, you heard it click. Here's my power cable, iTunes is open, I'm going to plug it back in. So just to remind you, the other end of this Ethernet cable is plugged into the back of my Mac. That way it's getting a direct feed. The light is flashing, I'm going to cut this video and come back uh, as soon as it's recognized. Alright, there's my Apple TV. And now, to see if it's honestly connected to my Mac and not syncing over Wi-Fi anymore, we simply just watch the speed of it syncing. Two, three, four, six, seven. Way faster. Okay, you can see how fast it's going. 11, 12, 13. This is, this is rocket, rocket speed. This will be done in no time. So if you've got a movie that you need to sync to your Apple TV because you're taking it to a friend's house or something, just connect it via this blue cable. That's all you got to do. Um, and it goes really, really, really fast. So uh, that is how to connect to your Apple TV via Ethernet. Now, for Windows users, good luck.